All right, we're back. It's nighttime. Glass of wine. We got our uh, painted covers here. And I gotta say, you know, no affiliation, but I'm not super thrilled with this Rust-Oleum Orange. I mentioned before in one of the earlier videos that I have a lot of trouble with it running and uh, just not laying out very well. And it's really just the orange. I've had good luck with other colors. It's something specific about this orange that I'm not a big fan of. Um, I don't know if you can see it here on the video, but we got a little bit of running. There's a little sag there. I think you can see it in the light. A um, little bit of sag from that last coat of paint. And then the other part is that last coat of paint left like this orange peel kind of surface finish on there. Um, it's just really inconsistent from can to can and coverage wise, not been having the greatest luck with it. So, but it's just a file cabinet in the shop. So we're gonna put it together now. now back over here, I had this bucket of screws from the previous assembly and it was a mix smash. I'm not sure if this was from two different versions of the same cabinet because there's two dominant style of screws. We got this uh, um, got this cap headed screw with a lock washer and then, oops, focus. Uh, cap headed screw with a lock washer and then a, uh, um, a countersunk screw that was a, come on, focus. That was a posi drive. Um, it was about half and half and I wanted to make it consistent. So I went down to the local hardware store and picked up some screws to match. And what we got here is uh, number 10 by 32 threads per inch by three eighths long cap screws and some matching lock washers. Um, I wanted to call out something interesting about this. I almost made a, uh, a critical mistake. Um, that would have cost me quite a bit more money. Number 10 by 32 screws uh, are almost identical in size and thread pitch to a metric M5 by 0 0.8 millimeter thread. Um, and so I had gotten everything I needed for metric thinking that that was what I needed. It seemed like it was the right fit visually and uh, and testing the thread fit in a nut. Um, and then I thought to myself, this is a government surplus cabinet from the National Labs from sometime back in, you know, somewhere between World War II and the present. And what are the odds that that cabinet was actually manufactured with metric screws? And so I uh, took a walk around the corner at the hardware store to the other aisle and test fit with a American size screw and, or well, Imperial screw. And sure enough, uh, even though both threads probably would have worked at this length of thread, um, the metric was just a tad loose. It was just, you could just barely perceive that the, the thread didn't quite fit right. Both of them threaded just fine. Um, in a pinch, you could easily swap one out for the other and it would probably work okay. But in this case, uh, I wanted to make sure it was a good fit. And so here we are. Um, the bonus to this is that uh, Imperial size fasteners are about three times cheaper than metric. So this whole kit here, uh, cost me just under $10, whereas metric um, altogether would have been about 23, something like that. So anyhow, let's put one of these drawers together. So here we are. You can see I've already started working on sorting some of my tools into these drawers. This one, uh, as you can see, will be my drill bits and hole saws drawer. Um, a couple Forstner bits down there as well. Uh, so, and then of course my favorite screwdriver, a Klein Tools screwdriver there. Um, just really durable. I've had really good luck with the tip. Um, this one's quite worn, but even when they're worn, they still grip the fasteners quite well. Uh, and just generally have a good feel in the hands. They're well balanced and the grip is the right size for my hands. So, uh, 
Anyway, my favorite, pretty well worn. Um, let's put this guy together. Well, now this is quite interesting. I didn't notice this at first, but these drawers are definitely from a couple different production runs. If you look in the bottom of these uh, face plates, you can see there's a little notch cut out, and that's cut out for a, a little clip that uh, sits on the bottom of the front of the drawer. And when I tried to put this first plate on, I was thinking, holy cow, the spring tension is terrible. Why can't I get this face plate to line up right? Why can't I get it to stay on properly? And you can see here now, quite clearly, there's at least two, if not three different styles of face plates. So we've got two different size notches in the bottom. And then, if you compare the top edges here, you can actually see this one on the left. There's uh, some residual casting with an ejector pin mark, maybe. Um, but if you notice here, the edge of this notch is rounded off. This one is sharp cut. So a couple different designs here, a couple different casting methods. Yeah, there's definitely three casting marks on the left, only two on the right. Um, and then moving to here, we've got two casting marks, but a shallow clip indent. So there you have it. There's at least three different faceplate styles here. So this set of drawers has uh, had some history for sure. I'm really curious now if there's more styles of these. This could be quite the puzzle putting this back together. Ooh it's cold. Back in the shop, new set of sleeves, halfway done. It's looking pretty good. Going pretty slow. The springiness of these little panels is uh, making it difficult to get these back on, but we're making progress. Um, I'm not sure if I pointed this out in the beginning, but these have like a, I don't know, of course these are all tight. There you go, you can see there. They're meant to hold a paper card to label what's in there. Just this little bit of springiness and you can slide a card up in there. I don't think I'm gonna do that because I really like the look of this. So what I will probably end up doing is using some, uh, some thermal uh, printer labels and just doing that to label these drawers. Um, but I'm gonna finish up the others now. Another glass of wine, a Hershey's or something. I don't know what that is, Snickers? Snickers Mini. We're gonna finish some drawers. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. The exterior of the toolbox is restored. Matches quite nicely with my toolbox. Drawer slides work quite nicely now after the relubing. Now to uh, do some of the other things I promised, like filling those holes. Not so important when you got a big box of drill bits, but if I want to put smaller parts in here, I definitely want to make sure stuff isn't going to fall out. So there we have it. The vintage U.S. government card file cabinet used to store punch cards for your old IBM computers. Now, just a bunch of junky old tools. Thanks for watching.